the the first time I lost my virginity was to him. <laughs> <laughs> I paid him. That's good. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to this another podcast. Guys, the podcast has started. You can't just like we fuck around. Be professional. Shake hand. What are the secret shake hands do you guys do? It's a secret. Do? Can't tell you. <laughs> oh, fine. Secret shake hand. Yeah, we have a secret shake hand. Yeah. What is it called? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how was the week, guys? You tell you tell us how was your week, okay? It's always us fucking answering. You never say anything. Yeah, mob mentality. <laughs> <laughs> It's a secret. <laughs> What did we do this week? We record a podcast, then we had a day off, then we record a podcast, and it's today. <laughs> and we have today. We have nothing to talk about. <laughs> like, that's all for today's episode. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, so we have Nisha in the studio with us today. Which you guys will see soon. Yeah, yeah. we're launching him. He's a new soft, soft launch. launch. <laughs> <laughs> the soft launch, the hard launch will come soon. Have you uh, have you ever soft launched anyone? I feel like it's a girl thing to do. Nah. No, it's not a guy thing to the do. The minute you story someone on your Instagram, all the other options are closed off. So, have yeah. you ever put a girl on your Instagram, bro? Yeah, when I, you. I feel like I feel like Fahim has never put a girl's photo where he's just standing with the girl or sitting with the girl alone. It's usually it's a group photo. No, so in my high school relationship, yeah, I used to post photos, but that time I didn't know that like, oh, if you have a girlfriend, all the other all the other girls, gone. yeah, all the other <laughs> options are gone. So, but isn't it isn't life about like loving one person to it? Like, why do you want so many options? That's true. I've realized that recently, <laughs> and I've come into it. Yeah, come into so, what? So my what are you next, coming into my next relationship, I'll definitely story the girl. Oh, so this relationship was fucked. I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> You're not in a relationship. That's a lie, guys. To all the women watching this, Fahim is in a beautiful, loving relationship with, with, with his himself. mom. With, What? Mm. Uh, her name is Janine. Jenny. Uh, she's from Alamakara. Uh, she's not. She's not comfortable in front of the camera. Alamakara so. means the school, or like the area. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I'm I sorry. This is bad for business. Nobody will text me. <laughs> Done. It's a lie, guys. It's a lie. Why are you single as fuck? What about you? You do you ever post with? I post do you with everybody. Post your, I no, post. I, I think Shadrata's logic is, <laughs> I'll post so many girls on my story, like a bunch of different girls that nobody knows which one is my girl. Keep them guessing. Yeah. Keep them guessing. Yeah. That's a good strategy. I mean, it's at least better than Irene who follows half the world. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Bro, you go to. The other half, half, I, I follow the only half of the world, which is just like, like I, I didn't will never have fans because he follows everyone. Back. Yeah, it's there's like, no fan. And he knows about their family like, history. He knows about I've, their childhood. I found like girls doing like TikTok dance or like whatever on my expo page, and you I'm like, oh, me? she's so cute. Arena, which likes this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, you click on their profile. Arena, which follows. Yeah, and they follow. follow and if you see some of the comments, there'll be some comments also. What? You hard eyes, the, hard eyes. You are the view. <laughs> You are the view hard yeah. eyes. I recently saw it. Like, it was so random. It came up on my expo page. He just you likes. He just likes. He just, I just like. I just like women. I'm just, a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a feminist. I just a support feminist. women on the internet. <laughs> Talking about feminism, what do you think of only fans? Talking um, about feminism, what do you think? Of? It's a great segue. <laughs> That's a great segue. I feel like. Uh, if you can monetize on something in this day and age, you have to like. It's very idealistic to say, "Oh yeah, I'm not going going to go down that path because, like, that's a slippery slope or, or like whatever." Judge people on But like, which path do you want to go down? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> no bro, you gonna make me act up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> put it down, put it down. <laughs> okay, is OnlyFans out in? I don't think it works in India, no, Bal? Balu? Doesn't work in India, right? I like how Balu is a resident OnlyFans expert. <laughs> Only time I got fact checking. <laughs> <laughs> This is like I have only five. It works. No, but if I could like sell my feet pics for money, I would do it. Yeah, same. You could definitely sell your feet pics for money. To you? But what's the what's the to fucking? Like, but why do three people, people in the studio buy, buy it? <laughs> why do people? It's a circular economy. Why would people buy? Feet pics, like what is the? Bro, I don't you, understand. You've never pitch. seen because it's that intimacy. It's like oh, I'm buying and selling. Like I know I'm directly getting feet it's pics. Like it's like getting nudes. But yeah, yeah no. But my question is, why are they attracted? Why are they attracted to feet? It is a feet? kink. It's oh my god. It oh. is a kink. <laughs> like like you're attracted to dark skin girls. <laughs> yeah, fucking love. There you go. So normally, like 
before feet is something that humans were averse to because we'd walk around barefoot or in minimal protection but and it be a, a lot of outside like India sambas. thing to be like oh feet is repulsive no like no, back I don't, before like in the, in the when we were evolving oh you're talking we about would, prehistoric yeah. so okay. it was always something we were supposed to be averse to and most kings are, it represents like a flip in normal functioning like you know the weird kings like people have like necrophilia or like necrophilia is wanting to fuck that body yeah so it, it's like a flip in the normal functioning and foot fetishes in like the but purest what, form are also kind of like what that. do you mean normal that's what so fucked what, up bro yeah, like how can you say necrophilia is not normal maybe that's it is like normal i was going to say necrophilia is normal <laughs> i mean i don't know if it's normal but you don't know you no, should think, know it's I not think, normal <laughs> I think like there's a difference between like being very attracted to feet and like appreciating a nice pair of feet. I think dude you've never seen a pair of like Bernardium ankles and thought damn sorry bad. First of no, all you don't I see like, ankles in Bernardium cuz the anklet covers. Yeah the anklet I mean the anklet. I can, I can see the, the appeal in like a well groomed feet with some white toe polish like that's it's it's nice it's <laughs> always special yeah, why? Also, but I don't understand why people polish, would, would, it's would like, like <laughs> it's not a sexual would you, thing would you like, suck on toes? Have you sucked on toes? Yes, Dude, I've never toes. done any of this. Yes, sucked on toes. Have you? Have you? I've never yeah. touched a man. I've sucked on toes. I've, I've sucked on my own toes. I was six <laughs> and hungry, oh. but I've also sucked on other people's toes. <laughs> I was seven and bullied. Me? No. Yeah, she sucked. Would you ever? Would you ever date an OnlyFans model? Yeah. Would I date an OnlyFans model? Interesting question. Yeah, I think. No, he fucking would. Fuck up. Yeah, I would, right? Because you wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, let me tell you something on OnlyFans. Okay? Let me tell you something let- about you. <laughs> no, let me tell you something about OnlyFans. Okay. Uh. If you're on OnlyFans and you're making good amount of money, you're attractive. So would I date an OnlyFans model? That's not true. That's really not true, bro. Any there woman no can. No, no, if you, if you, if you satisfy a niche. or a certain type of kink like there are ugly girls who no, dress up as anime fans, characters okay, everybody's naked right so you're not you're compete like on instagram if you're half naked and you're competing with a girl who's fully clothed you get more likes i'm so f- no but it's but the it, truth. on, on only fans you truth. can yeah. you it also depends on how well you but on only fans everybody's naked so if you're ugly and naked people would rather just go to pretty that's naked. not true there are people no, who are into different, yeah. what you think is ugly oh yeah <laughs> there are people, <laughs> people who are ugly yeah yes, i'm sorry also i don't yeah. think everybody is doing like naked stuff on only yeah it's yeah. not just naked stuff some people do like stuff. they pretend to be like a no but but for the attractiveness there are plenty of attractive girls uh, outside also, only fans also only fans is only fans. mainly based on i feel like guys guys yes, we're derailing the question no, would, would you date, yeah would you be okay to date a girl who's doing only fans obviously she's going to be attractive you and a date a girl you don't get on cuz Honestly, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, and you guys know it. But I want to know your answer. But what, is it like a prejudice thing? What? Wait, is it, I, is I, it I like a? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know what basis. Depends, depends on how much money she's making. If I if I'm living a super comfortable life, <laughs> then she actually, does fuck that. No way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. I'd, I'd be I'd be in a mansion, but I'd be crying all the time. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Uh, no, no, no. Would you, why why wouldn't you do that? See, I'm not what? saying like to ban only fans and shit. Like people can do what they want. That, But personal that. opinion, I wouldn't want to date a girl who's posting pictures of her very. But it's nudely. her body, no. Yeah, but it's also our body. Oh, <laughs> <when I'm doing laughs> it. It's also our body. Communism. No, I feel in a relationship. So you're saying you're the girl's body's yours. Yeah, it's one body, two souls. And I don't expect her to be okay with me doing OnlyFans either. But I wouldn't want other people to be able to see her naked online. Yeah, but nobody wants to see you naked like that, bro. Oh, you want to see naked? What if she's just wearing like a bikini or like? She's it's still such. Uh, How such, much coverage I, is I okay for OnlyFans? <sighs> I don't agree with like monetizing sexual content anyway. Okay, I'm not I'm okay. I'm, so that's what I'm saying. It's all not sexual. That, what if she just posts pictures of her in a suit on OnlyFans? Yeah. Sure, but there's still a but sexual connotation to it. No and anymore. I don't think that's sexual the right platform. In terms of? Like I'd rather she start a Patreon than an OnlyFans. Okay, like if just, you want to post pictures on a suit like why do you need OnlyFans? Or she's wearing a bikini but it's on LinkedIn. <laughs> that, <laughs> I don't think anyone would be doing that. <laughs> and LinkedIn doesn't have a paywall. It doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think a relationship for me is just. But what if you're dating a girl and you really like her and she's the one, but then she comes and says, "I want to start an OnlyFans." I want to make a. You're like you're a deadbeat doctor. The love of your life. You're she's not love. making any money in life. I want to get married to you. I'm starting an OnlyFans. What, what did you say? I just yeah, I still wouldn't agree with it. I think I, I, I'm not. I I don't have the mentality of like. whatever works to get that money that would be a deal breaker yeah there are things that i agree with and things that i don't agree with and i wouldn't like like go but of that but this is only exclusive to somebody you want to date 
Yeah. You'll yeah. be friends with somebody on Yeah, OnlyFans. sure I'd be friends with a porn star. Like that's great. Even so you you would date someone who does only yeah. friends. Like, What about someone who's a porn star? Yeah. You'd let her do scenes with other men. I'll let her. You would be okay with oh, that. Oh, no, 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 Cuz no, the way no. I see it there's a reason that like okay she's fucking other people. I don't I'm not going to fucking sit and actually actively watch it. I'm going to study the techniques that he used. <laughs> uh but i feel like at the end of the day there's a reason that she's dating me and not those dudes cuz that is a job because they don't want to date her yeah that's a, if that's her job that's what she yeah, friends what are she just they don't yeah. want to date her <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to date someone that's what we feel by the greedy by all their friends i miss shamali so much <laughs> yeah, shamali would not have stood for this yeah. she would have shamali would have found out <laughs> would you date only fans more yeah sure But I feel like yeah, porn and OnlyFans is different. Yeah, yeah, definitely it is. And Maybe porn. I don't think I'll be in a. I'll be secure. I'll feel secure about it because I know it's a job. But I think I would be like, oh no. But there's also porn stars that that will only do scenes with their significant others. Yeah. Yeah, but then I feel like I'd you'd have to be a porn star. I'd, I'd <laughs> fucking kill it. I think you'd be great at it. I think I'd be great uh, at porn. I don't think I'm ever releasing a tape. So yes, no, I'm a virgin it. anyway. So, but that <laughs> your question uh, <laughs> that reminds me. So, did you see that Jonah Hill thing mm. where mm. he was getting a lot of? So yeah. basically, uh, his an ex of his two like they dated two years ago. They broke up and everything leaked not not leaked like released text messages of them. So she's but, a surfer. Yeah, and he's saying uh, he's basically in the message. He's saying stuff like. If you want to constantly post revealing pictures of yourself on Instagram, and the picture in question is she's wearing a surfer that swimsuit, basically one piece, and she's on a surfer like a board, mm. and she's surfing. And like, she's like a surfer, surfer or she's on a surfboard. Sur- surfboard. Surfboard. Like if you if you want to surf with other men, or if you want to like keep partying, or if you want to do all of these things, I will support you as a friend. But to me. Like I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with you if you're doing all this of that. Is you or Jonah Hill? But <laughs> first of all, the text message was not as nice but as what was like. Why is he releasing no, these text messages it, after they broke up? I don't know when this thing came out. No, but why? Why are they releasing? Why is she releasing text messages? I don't think it was like it was a recent. They had fought and then two years ago they broke up. But then no, why but she it's, no, but I think it was a recent thing. I don't think the argument was two years ago. So, but what is the point? Like, no, eight thirty-one twenty-two. The oh, yeah? texts were yeah from a year ago. Twenty one is twenty one. Okay, yeah, plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past, beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful, I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it, and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for romantic partnership. This is the guy who made super bad. It's only sexual you know shit in that movie. I think, like, okay, the way he said it is a bit rude, but I think if you're not okay with something in a partner, like, that's the nicest way you can put it. Like yeah, he said, I, I think it's very fair that he said. Like it he the said, way he if said you it. want to do these things, I will support you as a friend. But it's not what I'm looking but for in a, a yeah, romantic partner. But it's a little fucked up saying after the fact. You know, you know, you get to know these things about a person when you're friends with them. That's yeah, why you don't enter a relationship. But, uh, but I don't like, think that's it's like coming into somebody's life and being like, hey, we're dating now. We've gone past the friend yeah. thing. I'm st- I'm going to stop being cool now. Now here are the here are the boundaries. See, Now but, you have to listen to these things to be with me. But like I don't think it necessarily will affect you when you're on on that path to a relationship. Like there'll be things that only re- like you realize it affects you once you're in a relationship with that person. That's that's true. I like because like I've you, experienced it too. Like yeah, once you're with actually, someone, you're like, oh, this bothers me. And I guess very... communicating that is like the best way. It's not like he was like, you have to stop this. You have to stop this. I mean, the I way mean, he phrased it was kind of, but he said it in a respectful way. He was like, "If you're looking for this, I'll support you as a friend, but um, I'm not the right partner for you." But then, obviously, like two sides, there were people saying that That's he's what, right. Like this is the and, only context we have. And other people that were saying, uh, no, uh, other people that were outright bashing him, saying that he's uh, what he's doing is wrong. It's fucked up. What he said. So, what do you think about it? Okay, okay, let's. Uh, but why the, is why are they saying it's fucked up? Like like, what, what, like what he said. Yes, basically. like you're coming like, into somebody's life. You're you're treating them really well, and then you're giving them like a certain standard of life, and then you're like, hey, 
but we don't know if he has done that right we don't know what no, the context. they were in a relationship they were in a relationship they were in yeah. a relationship no but we don't know what the relationship was like when they were just that's, friends that's what i'm saying there are two sides yeah, the yes, argument is but... that like once you are like their boyfriend and you say like if you want to be with me you so what he said it's kind of like blackmailing i guess you can say in a yeah, way that's like what the other side is saying it's weird when you flip as a boyfriend like i feel like uh, being romantically invested is a step it's like foundation is friendship and then the step above that is romance but if you're going to eliminate that idea of friendship and that that feeling of security i think that's fucked up in any relationship when you're setting boundaries like that i feel like that goes to show you're an insecure person but no i think people just have personal boundaries in what they want in a partner and, that, and I, i'm saying i agree with that i'm that saying it comes from insecurity fine. no i don't but think it comes from, i think it comes from like a cultural foundation or a religious foundation what is what, the what is the cultural foundation no so i don't know what their personal basis is but i'm saying like if it's coming from that point or like even if it's coming from insecurity like to each their own but you have a right to voice it right yeah fair yeah so he voiced it in that way and he said but if, if i'm dating you and i'm feeling insecure i am be like hey fine i want to work through this like i don't yeah. want you to cut your friends off but i also need you to make me but feel I, more yeah. reassured and if insecure. you wanted me to stop posting shirtless pictures i'd do it for you <laughs> i feel like we'd have a con- i wouldn't say hey stop posting shirtless pictures i'd be like hey can we have a conversation but he this? didn't ask her to stop either he said He are, said. He said, "If you're doing good, you're going to continue doing this." He was very passive aggressive about yeah, it. First of all, if you're going to continue doing this, it's not a conversation. I think, I think that shit. I think that's fire. I think it's not a conversation. I think it's. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a, hey, why is Sharan being so quiet about this? I feel like there's a we're missing out a lot of context. Yeah, we're missing out on context. But I feel like when you're presenting it like this, with that just that message, just based on this is what we're giving the opinion. Yeah. But see, no. So he's getting engaged to someone else, or like he's yeah, he's engaged now. I think, and that's like kind of when she released these messages as well. That's fucked up. So why would you release private messages with someone like I mean, one year, two years cool. after the line? That's not cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he's being so quiet about <laughs> yeah, this. He's, he's so like, cool. yeah, I've done, like... I've done this. I've done this. I don't want my girlfriend to no, do I this. No, I feel like he doesn't have enough context. <laughs> no, I don't have enough context. No, for, for example, my first question is why is she releasing the messages? I didn't know. I thought they were dating and she released yeah, the messages right now. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more no, sense. If she's not dating now. That's two years back. Yeah. Yeah, she's releasing the messages now. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if something sense. happened behind the scenes for her to release it. But all I know is Jonah is getting engaged. They dated two years ago. But don't you want to... I don't don't she get sued for like releasing yeah, I think defamation she, he is seeking legal action could you action. look that up why she released the like context <laughs> yeah so i don't understand why she released it but, but that's not like, the point that's no, not I the point no i feel like i feel like i agree with you if you have some certain so uh, personal preferences you know supposed to voice it maybe it's wrong maybe it's right but that's, but that's what you. makes you yeah that's what makes you okay and at the end of the day in every relationship before you love another person you you tend to love yourself more like just so, like she will have personal yeah opinions or yeah. views you will have reactions to those views that's how really, it's a dance i fully agree with you but i'm saying you're doing this for example you no, are exa- dating two years into that you tell me hey i don't you to meet your friends that has to be a conversation that I, i need to know why it can't be hey if you were going to do this it can't be yeah, it can't yeah, be, yeah. can be i'm not the right person yeah, right. i don't know okay. maybe that's we don't true. know maybe yeah, she maybe they did have that conversation yeah. before the, right the be right. yeah i didn't just want to date everyone here <laughs> <laughs> yeah if we were dating <laughs> if nisu and i were dating i'd suck his toes cuz god bless the fact that he still has toes you have all your toes right I don't think the audience will get that reference. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's why it doesn't give context. Nothing. <laughs> no, see, I'll tell you what. For example, for a lot of guys, a girl, the girlfriend having like a boy best friend is a, a red big. Flag. Red that flag. boy best friend is never there just to be a friend. Okay, he's trying to fuck. <laughs> that guy is <laughs> trying to and, fuck. And, and, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like looking at the boy like while I'm mounting her. I think about the boy best friend. What? I'm like, ha ha! <laughs> you you little shit. shit. <laughs> You little shit! I've won this game, and every time I'm inside you, you, you went grocery shopping with her. You went out to the cafes, yeah, but look I'm at me! I'm inside her, bitch. <laughs> I'm inside her. No, so see that. I that miss right, family so much. That, <laughs> that the fact that you know, a g- girl has a guy best friend to her boyfriend that might that might but, look like she he doesn't like. For example, I'm dating guy. You guy. This we are all just dating each other. <laughs> you're her guy best friend. I might be not brothers. Not, yeah, we're not brothers, okay. and I'm not. I may not be okay with it, and that might not be an okay thing to be in life. But that's what my preference is. That might most people I feel when they're not okay with a guy best friend like that in this situation is because they don't trust themselves also. Yeah, I mean, where they're like maybe they've it. had a girl best friend and they've cheated on their uh, significant other. No, but other. like, yeah, I know why it's funny, but 
it's true. Like, yeah, it comes there is a reason why so that, you're insecure. Yeah, that might not be okay. But that is just how it is. So just because but that, it's not okay doesn't change. No, no. no that, he's that, asking, not, what I'm saying is, one, you can work on that. Two, it can be a conversation. Yeah, we no, work I, on it and you lose the guy best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be like, it can be no, like, see, hey, do you generally think you. guys just want to be friends though? I feel like more than more than often than I not. I just don't think. I just don't think. I, no, bro. I don't <laughs> think. I, see, for him. see, I think guys who are friends. No, of girls, I feel like girls have more platonic relationships. Because in their mind, they because I've heard so many females come up to me and be like, "I never knew Varun thought of me like that." No, I was like, "Bro, it was obvious." No, I feel like, <laughs> no, I feel like girls know. I, no, I uh, feel maybe like, they just I, like, maybe they're not because I've had this conversation so often. I just feel like maybe the girl is not interested. If it, I feel like if no friends are different, best friends are different. Hmm. If it is a guy yeah. best friend and a girl best friend, like they're best friends with each other. I feel like one of them definitely, definitely likes, likes each other. Mm. Yeah, friends are totally fine. Yeah, yeah. friends is fine. And I feel like it's a age thing also. I feel like this is like a thing up until a certain after twenty five. I don't think you guy best friends with the girl that you're in love with, bro. No, I mean that's. I don't think you can restrict this to age. No, I but feel like, like you are in love with her, but she's not in love with you. She likes uh, the fuck that's boy. So you move on. You go through. Yeah, like you, you don't have a, guy go, best friends, girl best friends yeah. after a certain age. Is what you say. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like, like I feel, I feel like, like it's a phase. Around just for phase, for the yeah. relationship. I, I feel like eventually become friends. Like, see, if I was dating guy you. Man, <laughs> if I was dating guys, what guy, is the circle joke? <laughs> and she, what the fuck? She had a guy best friend, who I and for me, it's, and you're it's not obvious. My yeah, yeah, I'm not your brother. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not a smash. I just be friends with you. That's a fucking idealistic approach. Fuck you. That's also because Arin is Arin. Like, not every guy. Because I feel like guys. that's how you. That's how you establish that dominance. dominance. That's how. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, it's fun to say dominance, but. You no, but see, when that's not how most guys one. are wired. I feel like, because like how he said, yeah, he might be right or wrong, but just like I don't like it. <laughs> that's how hmm. most guys unfortunately approach it. Too. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> also, like just from personal experience, so many times, not just my relationships, like relationships of friends. A guy or a girl, when they have like someone they don't like, or they're like, "Oh, I don't like her. I don't like him." Like he's definitely trying to get. Guy with you. or a girl in in a relationship, yeah, like an external party in a relationship, like they're like, "I'm not fond of them." He's definitely trying to get with you. She's definitely trying to get with yeah, you. Yeah, you know what? I have a theory. If uh, like suppose I'm dating somebody, not anyone. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Please, 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 please. Yeah. So if like suppose we're dating, and then I have like some issue. But I would go to another friend and be like, I don't know about him. Like he's not like if you start complaining about like suppose I'm complaining about my boyfriend to another dude yeah. in a certain context. Okay, just a certain, not just when they're having fights. Certain context, I feel like that's already over. Yeah, it's there done. are signs. It's like, done. The minute yeah, you break up, he's piping. <laughs> a shoulder to cry on becomes. I don't a dick mean to, to generalize. <laughs> I don't mean to generalize, but I've seen it happen so many times. I myself have also done it. So I feel like it's a. I have been the guy that the girl comes and complains over the other guy. The shoulder. Like, the yeah, shoulder. I'm like, yeah, I yeah. really don't like that guy, man. And, and you deserve so much better. <laughs> <laughs> like you deserve you the, the world and more. <laughs> Have I been the show? Yeah. Don't lie, man. Just say shoulder. yes. I've been the Why do you need to think about that? Because <laughs> I was thinking how many. <laughs> how, how many <laughs> shoulders have I rolled? Yeah. You been the shoulder? No, I've never. No? Dude, he was directly the penis. Dude, this episode is just PR for Aryan, man. <laughs> Have a no, but the PR I machine. truly believe that's the thing. Like, no, but, okay, that is still fine. The thing which pisses me off, and I and I think Bali will agree with this, when you're dating a girl, and you know, in every relationship there are problems. Okay, but then the girl is too close to her girl best friends, and everything you say goes to go the to one person goes to like five goes other to people. Four other people. And especially if the girl the girl you're dating is a person who is easily like that her thoughts are influenced manage, manageable and influenced. Mm -hmm. Like you're dating like five the, girls, like a mother but only fucking one. You got to meet the board of directors. Yeah, you got to meet the board of directors <laughs> and literally anything they say can change her opinion. Yeah. She doesn't have an opinion. But don't you think this is an age thing like isn't it more no, prevalent no, 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 it's not an age thing. No? thing. It's not, this is a people thing. I, Most yeah. people get influenced. Like person yeah. to person it varies depending on their circle and Because I thought it was like a age thing like younger girls maybe tend to have more stronger like But, so, I, like so I've not been the shoulder I just realized because when that person complains to me about their relationship I'm just like break up and if they don't I just lose respect for them. 
So I treat them like shit. That's kind of That's the shoulder as well. Yeah, it's like a bad yeah. thing. It's like, uh, no, it's like even this board of directors problem I've never had because I'll be like, if you need to consult with your friends, you're a fucking loser. Okay, Jonah Hill. No, <laughs> no but it's like... <laughs> For the girlfriends, they might see the guy like, hmm, I don't really like him. There's something off about him. It could be just a vibe, man. Most often they're not there, right? But, but yeah, also, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. But also, <laughs> fucking point. Let the Who girl find out. Right? Yeah. Let the girl, girl find out. out. Oh, you mean <laughs> let me get some and then let find the out. Let the girl find out. And, and, Bro, that's all. That's all about the most hilarious part. This has happened to me, where like one of the girls, like, and it's also a meme which is really popular. But the, like one of the girlfriends is be like. If you hurt my girl, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> what are they gonna do, bro? What are they gonna do? <laughs> yeah. I can bench you. <laughs> that I can't fuck her. But, Very good. Uh, <laughs> but that I find hilarious. Yeah, like it's such an unnecessary. Like a lot of dudes will also come to you and be like, "Hey, bro, if you fuck with oh, my yeah, best friend, yeah. girls, yeah. I'll guy like friend. my brother. I will <laughs> raw dog her and I'll raw dog you. <laughs> yeah, if you ever hurt her again, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you will enjoy it. Sorry, that's the addendum. <laughs> <laughs> Something's come up on that camera. Yeah. Oh, something. I think we'll take a break now. Okay, we'll take a break, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Uh, you, pretty no. together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what do you guys think of uh, Mr. Donald Trump getting a mugshot? I feel like he's slaying. He's absolutely <laughs> popping off. He's already popped up. He's in the president of the United States. He's like, you know, you know what he got arrested for? Yeah, what, what did he get arrested for? He got arrested because in 20, I think 2020, he was uh, standing for elections with Joe Biden in Georgia, the state of Georgia. And he lost the elections and then he tried to like tamper with the election results and try to win. And he got caught for it. I mean, so, so this is from, uh, from, re- from like recently or from back then? Eh? The mugshot is from recently or from back then? No, no, the mugshot, mugshot is, is now. recent. Mugshot but, was uh, like last one week. Oh, okay. I, think I was like, 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 why was it released? Like but how did he think he was going to get away with that? He's like serving. Oh, he's Look. got away with a lot of shit. So he <laughs> but he was a, a president. fucking riot into the fucking. <laughs> uh, I saw this. My favorite meme. So what are, no, not the White House. What is the capital. The capital. Yeah, capital building. My favorite meme is. Uh, yeah, he's he's only the second actor from Home Alone to have gone to jail. <laughs> oh shit! Macaulay Culkin. What? He went to jail. Did he? I think, drug abuse, I think. I don't oh. think he went. I Why think he it was like a for D, that? D, 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 <laughs> Dra- uh, yeah. Drinking under the influence, something like that. Do it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> DIY. <laughs> he went to jail because he DIY. <laughs> Yeah, but the mugshot is pretty badass. Why yeah, he looks so like... Mugshot, yeah. I mean, like mm, West Side Gun, a rapper, he used that mugshot and he added like some chains onto him and he released that as his album cover. Whoa, that's actually that hard. That was cool as fuck. That's hard. You think he's... Is he gonna go to jail forever? I don't, I don't think, think so. No, I don't think no he's, chance. I, Wait, is he in jail now? No, he was, he got he was bail, in jail right? for like 20 minutes and they let him out. And they made it. He made it sound like he was in the the hardest prison, and he had to like navigate it. <laughs> but oh, it was actually just. What minutes. did he say when Isa Brocky came out? Is something really funny on Twitter? Some that Sweden thing. Uh, yeah. Come home ASAP. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like. I mean, I I don't stand for any of his views, but I just feel like the dude is so smart. Bro, he's so funny. Like yeah, he was so entertaining. Yeah, he's like, he's like. Like when he was the president on Twitter, she was because you can't remember the time he tweeted coffee. Kof, <laughs> what? Yeah. what was that meme? Like I think he, he was fucked up. Coffee or something. Yeah, he, he fucked up and that became a meme. Yeah, yeah, it was just one time. It is coffee. Yeah, because everybody was talking about coffee, 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 coffee. Dude, imagine the president of the biggest economy in the world just posting shit like that on yeah. Twitter, just shit posting. He's in France for first, a uh, president second. He yeah, yeah, he got so banned. Like two years in, three years in. Yeah. There's this interview of him from the 90s, I don't know where this is, basically it's a, it's on a late night talk show and he's like, yeah, it's, it's 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 actually really easy to be president. You just have to pander to Republican views, yeah. and basically everything that he did, <laughs> he talks about in that interview. And I think I'm pretty sure the government like took that down or made sure that oh. that's because it's not you can't find it on YouTube anymore. I, I I was reading the Obama book, and in that, uh, like in over right when Obama's first term was getting over, is when Trump's Trump and his supporters started gaining power. Like in Voldemort. the and huh? Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that correspondence dinner where the yeah, yeah. Where mm-hmm. Obama has to like the president has to give like a stand-up yeah. speech. So in so this is when Trump is slowly getting popular in the political world. And there's a clip, this is an actual clip online where Obama just destroys Trump, just constantly making fun of him. Uh then 
and like, each time you pan to trump trump is just fucking he's becoming more and more orange as time passes <laughs> just piss the fuck off and then he became the president bro do you see this on no, reels or what what are those <laughs> no, no but have you seen that have you seen that where everybody is shitting on trump and yeah, then like yeah, he just yeah. like becomes the president yeah. and it's basically that he reminds you like that really fun uncle that you can't introduce to your friends but they you really like them but uh, he'll say some out of pocket shit yeah, yeah. Like, oh, uncle yeah. Oh, you yeah, like grab by the pussy yeah but then now he's like president and that's when it's too far yeah but i feel like he might come into power again Joe Biden has so. zero iconic moments, bro. He's so boring. Bro, he, he's fuck so boring. Old. He's so old. Bro. Yeah, Joe, he's Joe Biden's funniest moments old. are all AI. I didn't say Joe Biden. Great rapper. <laughs> Joe Biden is so old. I feel so scared that he's. Yeah. Of Have you seen the new uh, the candidate, Republican candidate Vivek Ramaswamy? Oh. I mean, he looks. He looks like rap? Eminem. At a, like, Aziz Ansari. Self. What is that other Nikki uh, Hasan Minaj? Nikki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> Hasan Minaj. Aziz Ansari. Yeah, that what is that other office girl? Office girl. Uh, the girl in the office. Min- Mindy. 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 Oh. They all look the Mindy fucking Kid. same. It's like the same two Indian parents went and made all these children. <laughs> Bro, like, that Ramaswamy guy looks so much like Hasan Minaj and talks like Hasan Minaj. Wait, what is he? What no, is he? He's, a, he's a Republican candidate. Yeah, he's a Republican candidate, and some of the clips I've seen. seen like he's very well articulated and he speaks very well but i've heard like his views are very like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he got a shit big... for literally uh, ripping on one of obama's uh, lines yeah one of obama's speeches also he wants like mandatory military service and stuff like like some weird stuff like his views are a little uh, yeah. but it's yeah. kind of bro he's from palakkad like his parents are from palakkad what really yeah that's kind of cool that's crazy right but you guys should watch that video of him rapping eight man yeah he's been rapping lose yourself like at all his and eminem's meetings. lawyer sent him like a cease and desist yeah yeah, yeah. 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 stop <laughs> rapping <laughs> i saw it today no, he responded he was like will the real real slim shady please stand up <laughs> like he, <laughs> He's so, so cringe. He's like, extreme. Like he's wearing like a baseball cap and like a like yeah, so, a t-shirt. So, so he's, he's ba- basically making himself like his whole uh, propaganda is that he's a skinny brown kid who is he's, he's like an outcast in the US. And I guess that's why he's rapping eight mile and shit. Why? Because that's why that's yeah, the like quote he took from Obama also. Eight kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> kilometers and kilometers. <laughs> yeah, that's Ramaswamy. Oh man. <laughs> woke up to that but moment. first the uk now imagine if the us too bro that'll be nuts that the, cool. uh, the uk guy is kind of hot rishi sunak rishi sunak yeah. yeah it's good looking and he's also married to murthy's daughter who oh yeah narayan murthy's daughter i don't know what that is yeah same bro he's the owner of <laughs> he's one of the richest people in the country in, he's not in the country i'm poor i don't know yeah. <laughs> sorry infosys sorry infosys what does infosys do I don't know what it does. It's just does stupid stuff. It's like in football. You don't know what the richest person in the country is. He's not the richest. Business you does. He's not the richest. You ain't get the richest. Amani does everything. But people who read current affairs be like, <laughs> oh, you just got to know the guy. Like, yeah, you, you don't even know, know what he does. What he does. You just had a name drop. Oh, Nayan Murthy. Great. Hey, you don't know Nayan Murthy. Vijay Malia. Yeah. Nayan Vijay Malia. Same thing. No, he's not dead. He's alive. He's Thanos. in the uk okay hey guys segue come on let's segue, go segue. <laughs> <laughs> speaking about rich people nisu i think it's your time it's your time to shine okay guys we are going to talk about uh, i don't know much about this topic but we're going to talk about logan paul and dylan what dennis <laughs> dylan dylan dennis yeah so for that we have an expert uh, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, the, the weird policy maker <laughs> so we so, have we have a gen z kid <laughs> yeah we have a so i always thought just Dil- come bro just come <laughs> i always thought D- dilin was like a um, um, yeah. just sit in the middle sit in the middle make him feel as uncomfortable as possible bada so <laughs> yeah, boy, whoa, yes, wait the the, <laughs> the previous episode is going live before this right Yeah, so they left some. So they left soon. context that we so referenced them like ten times. Yeah, the previous episode. No, so you want to say hello? I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is basically bro. The, the viewers are gonna be so confused. Like, this, is is this, guy? <laughs> this is basically Bobby Altov, but Indian version. <laughs> who is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. The, the girl, girl who's on the podcast. Bro. Girl who's on the podcast. Like she has podcast with only. Like, he looks really like he doesn't want to be here, bro. 
Say something. Let's so, yeah, tell us, tell us something. No, okay. So I'll break it no. down. Basically, uh, you know how the influencers have the boxing thing, right? Yeah. And in October, I think Logan Paul is fighting an actual MMA fighter, Dylan Dennis. Oh, he's like, actually an MMA fighter. Yeah, he's Conor Gre- McGregor's like right hand dude. Conor and he's McGregor. A, <laughs> he's a multiple time like world jiu jitsu champion. Like he's he's but they're really, doing boxing, so all yeah, this won't matter. So boxing, I mean, yeah, but it's still combat sports, right? So that's the whole shtick of it. It's a YouTuber versus a combat sports athlete. Now, so this guy has been selling the fuck out of the fight, and basically how it started is Logan Paul just recently got engaged to his Nina Agdal, Nina Agdal who's like a supermodel. Mm. She's not pretty though. Yeah, that's another that's topic. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't he, say that. So oh, sorry, Mister, sorry. he released a picture of Nina with her ex, multiple, Leo multiple. DiCaprio. Okay, which is not that bad. Like it's who the, released? Dylan like Dennis. he just posted on Twitter. Dylan Dennis released a picture of both of them. Yeah, Dylan Dennis just posted on Twitter. Like it picks up steam. It's going viral. Like oh, like she was with DiCaprio. But it's like DiCaprio. It's fine. Like he's the guy. But then he posts. As of today, he's posted 157 pictures of her. Either with other men. Or like in settings of PDA. Or with fans. Or in provocative shoots. Basically, he's posted a lot of pictures of her. With pre- guys in previous relationships. But he's also posted like stuff... Like she's a model. She's obviously had pro- provocative shoots. To make her shoots. appear promiscuous. Yeah, just to yeah, basically but give off that impression. But I don't understand why she's caught in this crossfire because like yeah. So basically, what that's what so they fucked up. what they're saying is it's the fight game. Like anything goes to market it. But yeah, I don't I don't think she needed but, to. But what do you think of the last video? So yeah, he basically <laughs> released the video of her. I don't know how I don't know how he even got this. Like it didn't look like a public story. But she's basically saying it's been so many days since I had sex. I need. A big fat sausage just to destroy my body. <laughs> it's a 30 second video of her asking for she sex. She never had the sausage button in French. Too, but is it, is it like an ad? What is it? No, no it like it's, a, like a, it's like, like a Snapchat, it's like a Snapchat video. Because it kept bossing. I have between. no idea how he got it. But he released that. It's got. Maybe it's like an OnlyFans thing. No, no, it's not. No, she's was, not on OnlyFans. It's like she's talking to somebody specifically. It kind of looked like a video you'd send to a group chat full of friends. Do you, yeah. do you, Nisu, do you think that's fair? No, but that, that video has got. 50 million views in three days and like almost a million likes. Like it's gone viral. And everyone's asking, like, the whole narrative is like Logan's Logan's upset right now. Like he needs to call off the marriage. Like it's you know how the whole narrative would be. Should he call off the marriage? Like yeah, I think so. I wouldn't be with a woman like that. <laughs> <laughs> woman like what? I miss Shamali. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> this was his Take it to the leave. Wait, what, kind of, wait, what kind of woman is that? She was with other men before she was with Logan Paul. So what? What's the? But like multiple men. Like, <laughs> so what's the limit for you, bro? What is the limit, bro? I think like, like two, 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 two is pretty good. So Leonardo DiCaprio, one more guy is fine. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio and Jake Paul. Jake Paul is fine. <laughs> Logan Paul. Is no, Logan Paul is the third guy, man. He's the one married. He's the, oh, he's the one. Like, yeah. Why are you whispering? Stop whispering. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. But okay, just put yourself in Logan's shoes and. The whole internet is slut shaming your fiance. No, but why don't you put yourself in the girl's shoe? She's getting like. Yeah, sorry, I'm just. Uh, Logan Paul, yeah, who's getting the, publicity? This is not about her. This is about her. Shut the fuck up. No, it's about Logan. You want to leave? The, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should never apologize for your thoughts. Yeah, I'm, I am not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Logan is apologizing for yeah, his thoughts. Yeah, it's honestly yeah. fucked up because it's a no. third. <laughs> it's a third party who's not even involved Logan's in this fight. Logan is apologizing for his thought. Oh. Buzz, buzz. Buzz. deserved more recognition. Yeah. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. No, but it's a third party who's not even involved in the fight and she's getting dragged through but the But how floor. is it that Logan Paul has never come out and said, take, take my girl's ma- face. Take my name. girl's name. Take my girl's name. Out out of <laughs> <laughs> take my girl's name out of your fucking mouth. Like what Will Smith did. Uh, I mean, I don't think he's, it's going to stop him, bro. He's a Twitter warrior. Like he'll just post whatever he wants. And he has a mob of fans who'll just support what he does now. But I'm sure Logan Paul has more fans. He's also... Kind of, I don't know. He, he's, it's what? No, he did try defending her, right? He said she's like very loving and she's sweet, and her apartment is yeah, more so, more expensive than uh, that everything. Is not any no, way no, to what, defend what, what Logan said was my beautiful fiance, yeah. who I love and who I love very much is who's very successful, who has an apartment more than your net worth. Dylan Dinos was like, like, yeah, <laughs> DiCaprio paid for it. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> And then, so they had a press conference. What does DiCaprio think of all this? Bro's there like in his <laughs> private jet but then talking about climate change. Like he doesn't care. <laughs> With a 21-year-old. Yeah. 
So she was like, they did it. I think a couple of years ago, but I don't think it's fair that Dylan Dennis talks about the girl like that. But like, I guess they just need to sell the fight. It's marketing. Yeah, it's but marketing. still, it's just totally unfair on her part. But Logan said that if he wins, <laughs> he'll give the winnings to her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, she's gone through so much for this, bro. Man, if she, imagine if he breaks up with her after the fight. <laughs> do you think <laughs> get a, WWE Do you think shit. this will get to that relationship? I don't. One hundred percent. Wait, wait. If, this was, if a guy was talking about your girlfriend like this, what would you do? <sighs> I don't a think. Deep sigh. <laughs> <laughs> it starts off with a sigh. <laughs> I definitely end things. With the guy. With the, the guy. guy. No, with the girl. Uh, why? What did the girl do, bro? <laughs> I don't know. But man. then the guy wins then. Right? Like oh he, shit. He gets but then I'd win the fight, you know. <laughs> no, you were <laughs> fighting. You were no the fighter and you break You're not a YouTuber, girl. you're not anybody. This is a guy who you know, you meet, you sometimes bump into him in your favorite bar or coffee shop and he's talking trash That'd about That'd be weird girl. if you just see him yeah. at French toast and he's like, hey, your wife's a hoe. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even setting a fight. No. <laughs> Why am I here today? <laughs> so then what would you do? Okay, my question is, okay, this is like okay. an age-old internet question. Imagine a really jacked up beefy guy. Like, no, but what is the context? Spanks your girlfriend in front of you. What do you do? Shit. You end things with her. <laughs> I'd beat him up. I try at least. Oh, you try. Yeah, I try. try. That's the right answer. That's the right yeah. answer. Congratulations. But yeah, guy, well, anyway, I feel like we should get a woman's POV yeah, on yeah, this. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, I already said what I thought. Say it again. Not- you can... Say passionately. Like okay, two guys are fighting, but why is the women taking all the hits? That's true. Like okay, she's been with guys, so what? No, but I think he's just trying to get in his I head. I didn't ask right. you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Wow. Yeah, Dylan Dennis, you heard it here first. Guys asking you to stop. And we're all asking you to stop. Oh, now my notes are gonna get leaked now. <laughs> Okay, but uh, the whole concept of influencer fighting, if all of you had to pick one, not you, Sharon. you're not an influencer, but if you guys Sharon. had to pick, no, okay, come be us. You had to pick some other content creator in India to fight for a boxing match, let's say for charity. Who do I mean, you fight? I don't know who Nisu would, yeah, who would Nisu pick? Two, uh, Pato. Pato for sure, Pato for sure. I think I can take her. Yeah, that would okay, be like who are woman abuse. Who are <laughs> okay, so like, Two influencers. Pick, pick one. Yeah. Okay. Patu and Devika Deepak Dev. Yo! <laughs> that'd be I fine. Don't yeah, that'd be fine. That <laughs> this is the most niche She's joke. No one. <laughs> Patu's competition. That'd be fine. Okay, but who would you She's pick enough. to fight? Yeah, yeah. I'm not fighting, right? No. no you just... have to choose someone to fight against. Oh, you're the influencer. I, oh, like, you have to fight someone. I'd fight. David Dobrik. No, in no, India. In India. 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 <laughs> India. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. <laughs> I'd fight. Who's the real? Bay biceps. Tanmay Bhatt. No, I don't think the weight. I think the weight class is. <laughs> I fight uh, normal. Who? My life, Maroon. Oh! <laughs> I feel like it'd be a good person. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that'd be. Give me that. 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 Let's be friends. In the, in the press conferences, he just compliment yeah, you. Yeah, he's complimenting me. I'm just really confused. I'm going to kick your ass. I know, duh. <laughs> no, I'm like, your girlfriend is so beautiful. I really wish I could find somebody. It's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it's the anti- What about you? Is Arjun's audio audioing? I feel like, I feel like I'd fight all of them. Now, Balu? This is what he said. It's not like a Royal Rumble like, bastard. I, like, one fight. Uh, Ranveer Singh? Tanmay Bhatt. Uh, what I, is wanna, cage match? Uh, <laughs> Ranveer Singh, Tanmay Bhatt. Who else? Uh, fuck, this is such a good question, bro. Crazy. <laughs> I know, I know. I who, want Harman Khan on my team. Tag team. <laughs> I, know, like, I know who uh, Fahim would want to fight. He would want to fight Beer Biceps for sure. Bro, it's on site, man. <laughs> Winner gets Dulkar Salman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's still... Wait, yeah, you, this is such a good question. You're, bro. I'm, I'm you're fighting all of them, like again, all of them against you. No, no, me and Hanuman kind versus everyone versus uh, <laughs> Ranveer Singh and Tanmay Bhatt. I okay. take Tanmay Bhatt. He Thank takes Hanuman. He but takes we're Ranveer. talking about influencers, no? Yeah, Ranveer yeah. Singh is just a big influencer. <laughs> he just gets to make movies as well. <laughs> Imagine if he sees this. He's never coming <laughs> here again. <laughs> no, I'm really thinking about this. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you think, you think, guy. What about you? Komal Pandey. <laughs> I fight Komal Pandey also. No, you can't fight a woman. Why? 
Gaya Cause that's not how Komal Pandey work. No. Yeah, Gaya fighting Komal Pandey. Komal, I fight. I feel like I'd fight all the rappers also. Like all the rappers are quite bad. Hanuman Khan's on your side. Yeah, Hanuman Khan would beat up all the other rappers. Like, like there's a lot of boys. Hanuman Khan and Ranveer Singh doing this. <laughs> they are like supporting the rappers. They are getting beat up by us. Why do you man think that? Make the whole movie. Who would I fight? So first we fight the rappers. Then they're all beaten. Then we're like tired and we're like sweating and we're like fuck yeah, we won. Hanuman Khan and Aryan team. And then and then the final boss comes. It's uh tanmay but and then why on is his he shoulder, the final boss why honest, why honest, cuz he's fat no no cuz he's the biggest and the, the and biggest honest, as in? and on his shoulder is ranveer singh and so, he jumps off where and is this going? he suplexes me and then i twist you don't have to explain the match I to us just tell us 619 boyak boyak it matches over he goes to yale <laughs> thank you <laughs> I feel like that culture should come here though. It'll be pretty fun. What boxing? Do you think yeah. it's sell here? Yeah, I think people would watch. But I don't know like in terms of like the influencer economy, what is he, where is he going? He's going to set up the fight. <laughs> <laughs> He's texting our mod guy. I think in terms of the influencer economy it does really well. But like like it's good for the whole economy, good for the people yeah, fighting. Yeah, it's good but like I don't know how I don't know I don't know how many like, Indian creators will actually train to become. Um, you think like a lot of them will be willing to step into the ring, though? Yeah, I think so. But do you For think people right would buy a ticket and go watch it? Yeah, I think there's something Here. very. I, ex- I think shut the fuck, fuck up is that, bro. You stood up for that. <laughs> I think no. I think there's something exciting about two people that you know and you're connected to, whether it be online, just going at it. No, but I, like I'm just wondering if people here would go, buy a ticket and go watch it live. That's what mm. I'm trying to like. I can't picture it here in India. I mean, I feel like the really big creators, yeah, yeah, as long as they have the right following, mm. or at least one big creator and one not so big. Mm-mm. Speaking of boxing, uh, Mike Tyson's organizing this weed boxing tournament in Thailand. What do you smoke up in you? Yeah, so <laughs> like, uh, what? contestants they have to the fighters they have to either take a bong rip or. Smoke a joint. <laughs> Wait. So you have to take. You got to get baked. Then you got to yeah. step into the ring. And you, yeah, that's hard. How did you hear so, about this? I, <laughs> you applied. <laughs> <laughs> so I read about this, and basically, uh, Mike Tyson's like he regrets that he wasn't on uh, marijuana when he used to fight. <laughs> He, he was on marijuana. He, he was, regrets he, that he wasn't. Uh, he, he, like he wants to fight okay. on marijuana. So that's why he. Then he would have definitely been in his year off. <laughs> he said he would have been like more aggressive. What? If, yeah, he thinks but, it's a yes. Yeah, marijuana no, has but the I feel like in general, they just water, relax. So calm. Yeah. How do you know, bro? I've seen other people with pot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, so uh, Tyson thinks that it's a performance enhancer oh. and all that. So he thinks it makes you more aggressive and. Like I feel stronger. like marijuana is like a code word for something else. Then yeah, like maybe it's meth or something. Maybe they're doing lines before fighting. <laughs> but can you be physically? That'd be fucking great. Imagine <laughs> people just taking lines like, before fighting. I'm what do you mean by that? Be great. Like he mentioned. That could be exciting. Yeah, there's so there's this get into the fucking mic master. There's this idea of doing like an Olympics but you can dope as much as you want. Like that would be insane. There's an idea. Oh. Yeah. Like to see like, the all of them on the like, see, like how far you can take the human body. That No, but you know what I like even more than that? Have you seen the idea of choosing a random citizen of countries <laughs> and just putting them in the Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> like imagine if you just randomly got selected to the 100 meter sprint <laughs> and then from america maybe it's an obese guy most likely oh you're saying non athlete <laughs> yeah just normal just citizens random, like normal citizens athlete. like you know mr beast did a video like that have you seen the video oh yeah yeah each country each fights country, for the he got a guy from every country in the world guy and girls i guess mm. yeah there was one girl i think to do like a obstacle course mm. but only one person from every country Oh and finally I think Iraq or Yemen or somebody went But that be so entertaining bro so, so for this yeah tournament thing this was like so. I promote this tournament <laughs> <laughs> this was, I put my I money in plus. this yeah. <laughs> So the spectators can take whatever the fighters are taking to What the fuck Yeah exactly this is, So it's I like awesome, a, dude. So it's like a like a whole like a cannabis atmosphere thing But where is this happening? in Thailand so oh. Everybody yeah. oh it's legal there right yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody is just for hotboxed and fucking high Yeah, yeah. they just like wow. smoking That's and watching. Imagine the referee doesn't get any of the decisions right <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I knocked him out. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, bro. <laughs> ding, ding. 
<laughs> and the fighter is like, I love you, bro. I love you so much. <laughs> this is like, have you heard about the, I saw it on Instagram. There's a hotel or there's a restaurant where they only, they hire people, the waiters and the staff all have dementia. What? Yeah. What was the point of that? Uh, is this a social inclusivity. experiment? Inclusivity. No, 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 no. Hey man, I ordered my chicken wings. No, you didn't. <laughs> so it, it, it's called My Happy Little Mistakes or something like that. And basically the idea is uh, like they'll, these old ladies get your order wrong but you will get something. You will get something. It's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. Like oh, you don't so know, I... they might fuck it up, they might not fuck it up. So oh. What is the point? The point is to like employ a... people with dementia and make it a so fun restaurant experience. experience. Yeah. I'd be pissed if I got punished. There, there, there was this, <laughs> you, like, you shouldn't go there. <laughs> I so, feel like so if I want like chicken tikka, I would ask for like paneer tikka, and they would bring chicken. Yeah, tikka. or like you can ask, be like chicken tikka, repeat after me, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Whatever. Chicken tikka. <laughs> and you say it after every other, and then they. But I, I, another thing I don't understand is why waiters just don't write their shit down. I mean, it's a flex, bro. Some people just want to flex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like dementia. Yeah. <laughs> no, like in Utubara, right? So you go to Utubara, <laughs> and. So once I went to this big group, like I think like 11 or 12 people yeah. and everyone ordered like two dosas and lime juice and whatnot. And then this guy remembered everything. The total, like the order was like at least 12, like 20 dosas and then idlis, vadas, everything. And this guy just remembered everything and not everything was the same. Like each dosa was different. Like it'll be like ghee uh, roast, ghee roast, masala dosa, butter roast, podi roast and then ghee masala. And then it was just... That was crazy. He remembered everything. He remembered everything, yeah. You know, when they remember, it's an insane flex, but if they forget, <laughs> if they forget one yeah. <laughs> Like, everybody at the table is best waiting for this guy to forget one thing. They're all ready to bounce it. But it's also, why, it's, like, why? Like, why can't you just, like, they're not questioning your memory yeah, or whatever. It's just, they just, I mean, I guess they get bored at work sometimes. They just want to test themselves out. But you can see... You can see when they're like trying yeah, like yeah. to memorize everything. They're like, okay, okay. And then everyone on the table is just waiting for them to fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then? And then this fight, continue promoting it. Okay, just <laughs> tell everyone, you got tickets, huh? You're going. No. <laughs> You're fighting. It was just interesting, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you whispering like Sharon, bro? Talk louder. Okay. Say something that is, you want everyone to know. Is, is, uh, is sex better... When you're under the influence of pot? I haven't had sex. I haven't smoked a bowl. I answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every drug... Same. Like, huh? it, it's... Same, but different. like, okay, other people, you have... What have they told? What were you saying, guy? Ah, sorry, guy. No, no, what, what? No, you said it. every drug? No, so every drug, it influences sex differently. Like, oh. if you're on coke, it'll be like... Much more... <laughs> not like that, but it'll be like another extreme. And if it's pot, it's like... Kutu, 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 kutu. <sighs> What is wrong? Okay, right, guys, we're going to take a break. Yeah. We'll be back after this. <laughs> yeah, pot and sex. Is it better? Uh-huh. Like, I've heard that people say that it's better. Like, people now say... Now, why are you looking at me? Bro, if you... Okay, 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 guys. <laughs> Let's talk about other people's stories. What have other people told you who have been on pot and had sex? Because they have told me that it's it's great. Like so many people have come and told me you should smoke up and have sex. It's like it so elevates they say the that experience. Because like it um, enhances the what blood flow, right? So like you tend to feel everything. To like, trust more. Every sensation, mentally, physically, everything. So it I feel like it brings like an emotional aspect oh. to it also. Wow. Why are you acting like you're on drugs, bro? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What about like food? Have oh. you guys heard about the munchies? I've <laughs> heard about <laughs> drugs and food. The munchies. Drugs and food. Your munchies, bro. Yeah, it just no certain drugs stimulate like everybody's uh, appetite wanna, center. Uh, so sorry, God. <laughs> what? Is so you just like eat a lot more, and I why? Think, why do they crave food so much? Like, it's does not it even crave better? food. No, so everything. It, yeah, it I've heard stimulates it does your appetite taste center. Better. So your taste buds, everything is heightened, right? Yeah. So like. If it's something slightly salty, the salt will be like... Oh. Like sweet, it tastes yeah, insane, especially stuff sweets, like that. Like you tend to invent certain combination which is like sweet and salty. Like you, it, munchies will go inside. I think mango is like a big thing. It enhances the high is what I've read and like heard. <laughs> read yeah. and heard. This is a fucking, this is a fucking encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> It'd be so easy for the NCB to just like look at Swiggy orders and figure out who's smoking up, no? What? What is what? Like for the NCB, Narcotics Control oh, Bureau. Okay. Just look at Swiggy orders. Like fucking two AM, people are just buying munchies. I buy fucking two AM all the time. Yeah, I, don't like that's <laughs> I just like what eating Cheetos and watching YouTube. That's also such a cliche. <laughs> But like yeah, I've never understood the concept of like munchies. Like, How do you buy pre-rolls? Yeah, they sell fucking oh yeah rolling on... paper on <laughs> Swiggy. No, but you can use rolling paper for cigarettes also. How do you know? I've seen people do. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's different rolling paper, no? No, I think it's the same. No, it's the same. Yeah. So my friend's dad uses the uh, Swiggy pre-rolls. Like, oh, for... Everybody's friend, dad, friend, 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 uncle, friend's uncle, friend's dad, friends, friend. his cousins. <laughs> <laughs> One day all these friends will come on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Every conversation in the last three minutes I've gone. I have heard. I have been told. <laughs> I have. Legend has it. Term, yeah, the legend has it. In Amsterdam, all of this is legal, right? Yeah. Not just Amsterdam. Would you go to Amsterdam and try out these? I'll tell you when I go to Amsterdam. No, but would you try it out? Yeah. If you go to Amsterdam, would you try? Um, yeah. It? Yeah. Like space brownies and shit. Space brownies? Yeah. That's what yeah. they call it. Yeah, yeah. Is that like I've been told. Meat brownie? <laughs> is that meat based? Yeah, it's basically meat oh. brownie. Bro, I, no, because the thing is, one of the like since the drug market is illegal here, you're not even sure of what you're getting, the product, the quality of it, the composition of it. It could yeah. very well be like rat poison and shit. Yeah, yeah. But when you go to a place where it's legalized. And production is controlled. I'd feel much safer trying something like that. Yeah, out. it's not like you might not lose your eyesight. Yeah, you like that shit will be legit. <laughs> like I can fully experience what that drug that does like, to someone. Like you know, for example, you like Jordans a lot, okay? And if it was on the Nike app, and you could just buy it off. The fuck is this <laughs> analogy? It's great. Okay, you get the shoes in two weeks. They they'll deliver it to you. You can wear it. You can walk. It. But isn't it about the hunt? Like, bro, it's not the hunt. Like, there's no hunt here. <laughs> like, you, you know, call that one stoner <laughs> that you know from high school. You call your stoner or your dealer, and then you have to be sly about it. Call your uh, stoner. You, like, you can't. You, <laughs> there is nothing call sly about it. Like, and then you have to use like, like a location where they can drop off, and the guy gets into your car. And I'm giving too much information, but he gets into the car, and then he leaves the package in your car, and then. Like. Oh, that's how, that's how, thanks for explaining how that happens. Yeah. <laughs> now, now all the fucking underage kids who watches know how to buy weed now. Good job. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but like, isn't that the whole p- the process? Aren't we in love with no. the process? <laughs> <laughs> Who's we? I mean, the people who do it. <laughs> he said, aren't we in love with aren't the process? Aren't we in love with the process? Isn't it about the process? <laughs> like the sourcing, you know? What is happening? Is, would give, is the high would be so much better. Like, oh. First of all, you don't smoke. What fuck do you know what? <laughs> I'm a bad boy. If you go, <laughs> if you go, <laughs> If you go to a coffee shop and fucking Amsterdam space brownies are there like in Starbucks, you're like, what is that? Or your space brownie? Yeah, but we're not living in sense, Starbucks. Bro. No, we. I mean, Starbucks. I'm saying, I'm I'm said Amsterdam. Dude, people just want to get high. Yeah, like it's yeah, like they what don't. The challenge, bro. Imagine, imagine there's challenge a drug challenge. Challenge is getting to Amsterdam. Okay, okay. Like, friends, <laughs> friends, 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 friends. Sorry, he's not been understanding. Hot girl, she's giving you attention. <laughs> Left, right, and center. You're not interested, bro. She's on the Nike app. <laughs> What? Hot girl, not on the app. Nowhere to be found. You see her in the bar once. She's walking past you. You make eye contact for one second. That is your one opportunity to say something, make an impression. You have to seize every moment. Eminem. <laughs> Who all have you referenced? <laughs> you got to make it count, bro. And there. The story has so much meaning. What do you want? We you want us to get you wheel? <laughs> Are you trying to say yeah. something? <laughs> Oh, he's like, oh, it's interesting. Oh, yeah. like, oh, oh, I come and go as I please. Oh, I'm Arun. This <laughs> nepotism. Ah, isn't it? Isn't that the See, challenge? But the, the challenge. thing is, I feel, like, I feel like asking, trying to get a girl is like not illegal. Like drugs are. Yeah, that makes it no, even no, better. No, no, he's saying that a hot girl, it's hard to get. That's yeah. his whole he's thing. Yeah, he's talking like, about the easy. chase. But, but the thing is, no, okay, wait, wait, fuck off. What does Nisu think about this? <laughs> um, yeah, what you said was right. Like, if the girl was easy to get, then you wouldn't be so interested. <laughs> My yeah. brother in Christ, <laughs> there is nothing easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, then, then it makes sense that it's nicer. Okay, maybe the stuff in Amsterdam is better, but because of the journey that you guys go through. The stuff in you had Kochi. to take a journey to get to Amsterdam. Yeah, <laughs> that's the fucking journey. journey. <laughs> <laughs> see, I see, but well, like 
when someone is experiencing with drugs, I feel like the the thing that gives them the dopamine hit or what they're craving, their goal is to experience the drug. When I try to pick up a hot girl, for me, it's not even like the end goal. I told you, I'm a virgin. I don't have sex. I just <laughs> like the validation it gives me. What okay. The what chase. Are you talking about weed or girls? <laughs> so it's totally different. For, girls for, don't weed. No, no, no. See, the, the process is only interesting for something when that validates you. And the process validates you. When when a hot girl is, you chase her and then she replies back. We're talking that, too much about the hot girl. We're talking about toys. <laughs> <laughs> the no, drugs is no validation. Go, go. Who are you going to tell? Just, just think who about you, it. No, no. Who no, cares about how you got weed? Yeah, the drug is not going to Oh, yes. I love you. Tonight we smash. No, I feel like nobody cares about how you got the drug. And you're not going to tell no, anybody how you got the drug. No, but think about it. It's such a community thing. In Amsterdam, See, the, go, chase, no, no, is, the chase is only interesting if you can flex or you enjoy no, the no, chase. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. You're living in Amsterdam with your friends. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Do you go to a coffee shop? Do I play football? You're living in Amsterdam <laughs> with your friends. Wait, 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 next to, up, next to jail. <laughs> wait. You're in Amsterdam, you go to a coffee shop, every like we are sitting in French toast. Instead, like, of bun, instead of a sausage bun, you're ordering fucking space brownies. Everybody's high, everybody's happy. But here you're like, you ought to make a call to your best friend, bro, you have something or what? Like you ought to set the plan yeah, up, bro, you, you ought to sort it nice. He's like, yeah, bro, just come over. I'm getting something from the other guy. Just come over. And then you land up there and there are eight other people you don't know because they're all called this one person. <laughs> and it's a community. <laughs> No, I feel like for stoners, they just want to get the weed, bro. Yeah, I feel like this excitement the might come in the first time. They're like, okay, when I was in high school, I tried smoking a cigarette for the first time. And I was like, going to the shop in my fucking Fahim uniform. Fahim is risking everything today. In my uniform. <laughs> asking, yeah. Yeah. Asking, I shall go. <laughs> Cheddar, Cheddar a cigarette. And then they're just looking at me in the school uniform. Proceeds to give me the cigarette. <laughs> and then like going to a corner and smoking with my friends. That was exciting. I hated the cigarette. You're that shit wasn't that, even bro. good. Huh? Yeah, that's like a... Uh, you're still doing that except that you're not wearing uniform anymore. Yeah, but now I like the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> But I, yeah, so yeah, but that, that was time, like a pure thing. Like, oh, yeah, it I was did an it. experience. Like, yeah. we had to go through that journey. That there, the a, journey mattered. Now we just want that fucking cigarette, yeah, right, Balu? You just want that he cigarette now, right? The <laughs> he's, he's dreaming about something. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like that anymore. Okay, okay, maybe the experience in Amsterdam is better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were trying to say. <laughs> no, I feel like Amsterdam would be more interesting because it's about the contrast, like. This this process that is always so difficult and you have to rely on somebody and it's inconvenient. Difficult for suddenly, a friend. Difficult for a friend. Huh? Difficult for a friend, not for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but Amsterdam. And then yeah. suddenly you're in Amsterdam and it's so convenient. I feel like that is exciting in itself. That's true. The, the ease of access. True. You're just constantly high all the time. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I've never been to Amsterdam. Yeah, none of us have. <laughs> <laughs> Audience look at the whole podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the feminist side, he's been on the intellectual side, the stoner side. We have looked the worst. I also look like an idiot at the end of the day. So yeah. yeah, with your journey to get drugs. So what do you think about like drugs, bro? I mean, I don't know. I'll talk to my friends and let you know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's enough, bro. Robert. Yeah, I was having fun. Yeah, I feel like that was a good conversation. Yeah. So yeah. I used to sell drugs in high school. Just shut the fuck up, I mean. Uh, for real? And yeah, for real. Like no, what drugs? No, yeah, just shut the fuck up. It would be oregano. Oh. oh. And I'd sell them to the rich kids in my school. Because they didn't know what oregano is. It's their first <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, and that. they're white kids. They don't know what spices are. They've never been oh, to Domino's. Oh, we're the white people now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it used to, it used to sell quite well. He again looks good. He's a businessman. He's a feminist. <laughs> He's a hustler. But notice, I said me, not my friends. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do with the money? Uh, I bought those. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> with the money, you know, I... Uh... So you're telling me, if these sneakers were easily available, you these are These are Air Force yeah. Ones. They're <laughs> available yeah, in yeah. every fucking Nike store. No, but like, why are they hyped? They're not hyped. They're no, basic. Why, are, why, are you, why do you like hyped sneakers? Because they're less in quantity. It's hard I to don't. Get. Last episode, I legit said buy replicas. Kids in China making it. They're as good. <laughs> I'm done with the sneaker hype. Say all this, but... Tomorrow you roll you up You saw in my account, bro. <laughs> Cactus Jacks. <laughs> yeah, the account is kind of sad. Guys, his bank account is kind of sad. Auntie, please give him some money. <laughs> we'll clip this so that auntie sees me. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I, have 20, I have 20 rupees in my account right now. <laughs> But Nisu and I have just been going to every restaurant together and we, 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 we have food at home. <laughs> We're not hungry. Oh, that's what? Yeah, I've seen them do it three times. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
and it's really uncomfortable because you're eating and they're just staring at you like no no, no but it's fine but we told hungry. you we, we have food at home <laughs> yeah we have food at home yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't understand the struggle bro yeah. eating a okay, french toast every day you. so you are out with your friends and one of your friends says i will answer them No. <laughs> But are we going to Amsterdam? We might go. This is not a podcast. Amsterdam episode coming up soon. Uh you go out with your friends and one of your friends says that you know they have food at home or like they've already eaten which is usually speak for I don't have any fucking money yeah. in my account because everybody likes to eat in a coffee shop. So Not French toast man. No, fuck, fuck. <laughs> French is the best cafe. That's why I lost all my money. Dude, they haven't sponsored you one single time. That doesn't matter, bro. It's, it's <laughs> love. What the fuck? What do you get in return? Mirage. Yeah, mirage. That's true. We get vibes. Okay, so the point is, so somebody says, you know, uh, I'm I'm full or I already ate. Do you then tell the guy, okay, you just order whatever you want, I'll pay for it, or you're like, fuck this guy, let him starve to death. No, he has food at home. But <laughs> <I don't pay laughs> for you wouldn't feel bad for him. No, no but no. if I had like. Money. Wait, if you were, if it was a girl, you would have tried. One hundred percent. Yeah. And if it was a guy, you're like, fuck this guy. I wouldn't need either. Just, uh, oh, then. you just stare at each other at the coffee shop. Oh shit! You have money, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say bastard, but yeah, like, you have money, money like bastard. <laughs> but also, like sometimes I just don't want to eat, and it makes me uncomfortable when other people ask. Yeah. Because they'll ask, and they'll ask again, like, hey, chill, it's on me. Like, no, I have like food at home. Like that day at, at French toast, yeah. when I wasn't for dinner. Mm. I actually wasn't hungry. I was fine. But yeah, so and then it was like I was like get something, get but something. But were you broke? I was, yeah. I was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, both I can was. be true. You can be yeah. both broke yeah. and yeah. actually not hungry. <laughs> you can actually have food from. What did you have at home like that night? Um, fuck. Should I prepare for this? <laughs> Chips. I had a shawarma. Nice save. <laughs> nice <laughs> most generic answer. <laughs> at home, medicine. No, no. You had a later. I had a later. <laughs> It wasn't a French toast, so I could afford it. <laughs> What about you, Arjun? Would you like pay for your friend if? I are? always pay for my friends. Yeah, yeah I mean, if I okay, know the person, yes. We're going to French toast after this. You guys better buy me some. Not me. I have food at home. No, today I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's something uh, that Papa sort of taught us. Like, if your friends are hungry, you like, and they want to eat, you always like. You can't say no to a person who's asking for food. No, but, but they're, they're not asking. asking. <laughs> yeah, but they don't like, want. Yeah. It's also they're like I don't want food. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also another thing that we learned. Like we used to have a driver named Jai Jandre. He's like an iconic figure, and he was like, if you're eating in front of someone, or you're you're entering a lift, or you're entering a room, oh, like yeah. you're the only one at food, you always have to offer that food, or hey, you always have to. You don't eat. And if you're eating, you're you you enter a lift and you have to offer it to the person in the lift. Yeah. I mean, whatever, like yeah, whichever room it is. Jai Jandre had a lot of, lot of <laughs> what? Like, Like stuff he taught us like that. Yeah, he he's like never touch a person's face, and then he would like unless he you're just romantically <laughs> involved with them, never fucking. Dude, that's fine. And then we'd kiss each other in front of him. Yeah, yeah he'd be like never kiss your brother or your father or anybody who is a man. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd kiss each other and we'd, we'd run. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, Russian guy for context. And then he'd be like, if you. If you're going like to school, never wear fucking sports shoes. You better wear formal black shoes. And I'm like, why? I bet sports you didn't talk like this. Did no, you talk he, like did, he did. He, he did. did. And then he'd be like, no. If you wear sports shoes, it like the way your legs become, like your feet, it molds your feet in a very weird way. So you have to wear formal black shoes. And I uh-huh. believed that for the longest time, but it's not true. He had, and he was also super uh, misogynistic. Oh yeah. If he so if he's driving, <laughs> if he's driving, <laughs> he sees. Uh, Like if there's a car coming from the opposite side and it's a woman, he'll just be like, "This fuck it." Like, there is no. We're <laughs> gonna get into an accident. Yeah, we're gonna get into an accident. Now. Yeah, get into accident now. <laughs> uh, he yeah. once told me the story. I no was comment. In, I was in the <laughs> I was in the sixth grade. Okay, he's like, "Arin, let me tell you a little story." I was like, "Okay." He's like, "This is how uh, everyone has a has a price." I was like, "Okay." He's like, "Okay, so everyone has a price." Yeah, so I went to this woman, the, the super rich woman. And, a price, okay. Yeah. And I said. Uh, Would you uh, like? I, I agreed with her. I said I'll give you a a, a mansion. You can have a whole city. I'll give that to you. I'm a very rich person. If you suck my dick, and then she's like, "Yeah, sure, just for like a dick sucking. Of course, I'll take like a whole city." <laughs> and then he's like, "Okay, got you." <laughs> no, he's like, "Okay, now will you do that for three hundred rubles?" And three hundred rubles is like three hundred rupees. And she's like, "No, what do you think I am? A prostitute?" And he looks at me and he says. I know what you are. Now we're just bargaining. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm like 
<laughs> this happened in front of you? He told this to me. He oh. told, he's telling me the story. He's like, he, like, like I. This is a life lesson I needed to know. <laughs> poetry. Like oh. for for Russian poems. Was he like classes? <laughs> Where were your parents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was our gander. Dude, when I used to Hagrid. So there was I used to go for chess classes and we used to have chess tournaments. So there was a chess tournament where your fa- your father or mother had to play with you, and Papa couldn't come for whatever fucking reason, and he came. <laughs> and it was just an Indian boy uh-huh. and a white Russian dude, and we won. <laughs> it was fucking epic. Fuck. So so he went to jail in like the eighties or something. Basically, he got into a fight with this dude, and usually he beats up every like this is what he told me. He beats everybody up, and he wins, and they stay down. But this dude that he was fighting with just kept getting up, no matter how bloody he got. He just kept getting up, and then eventually he went unconscious, and the cops came, and then he was put in jail for a year. What was the life lesson there? <laughs> There's no life lesson. This, just, get this, up. Is, this is after he he taught me a lot of jail slang in Russian. <laughs> Yeah, slang. Man. Yeah, like how they speak Russian in jail. Like it's. A, I have a lot of questions for Loko yeah. Raju now. <laughs> they had a butler who was. <laughs> yeah. Jayendra is something else. Jayendra was. Uh, what is the guy from Batman? What is I? I, I he's he's, he's Alfred. Alfred. He's Alfred, Alfred Hagrid. Yeah, he's Alfred. What's his name? Rolled into one. Andre. Andre. Andrew, basically. But Andre. Why do you say Jaja Jaja? Jaja is like uncle. uncle. I heard Jai Chandra and I thought he was Indian. Bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm so confused. You're saying white Russian man. I'm like Jai Chandra. <laughs> Jai Chandra means Uncle Andre. Oh, we used to we used to do this thing where uh, so if I'm late for school, I will trade him one of my sandwiches for him to break the break the law and drive faster. <laughs> it's a lot like weird. Everyone has a price. <laughs> <laughs> The the first time I lost my virginity was to him. <laughs> <laughs> I paid him. <laughs> Two sandwiches, huh? <laughs> Two so, sandwiches. So, so he really liked going to McDonald's. Okay. And the only place where I could get with this girl is in the car. So before school, I would uh, he would park the car near school. Like seven, school starts at eight. He'd park the car outside at seven, and then I would give him. Two fifty ru- rubles, and he. Everybody has a price. <laughs> go, go, go get a big bag. I'd give him, yeah. him two fifty rubles, and he would go to McDonald's, and he. So basically, he would tell me, he's like, "Oh, I need to go to McDonald's if you need to do this kind of thing. I can't just wait outside. You need to give me money." I was like, "Here you go." And then he'd go to McDonald's, have like a coffee and a burger, and I'd hook up with this girl in the car. You fuck in the her in the car. I had sex with her. Sexual uh, relationship. sexual relationships <laughs> with that woman in the car. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'd we'd like make out and stuff before school. Oh, yeah, I did the same thing, but like I used to go to McDonald's with them. What with the same what? girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> with the same girl? No, no. There's no girl involved. With Jai Chandra. Yeah, with Jai Chandra. Yeah. I would eat breakfast at home, not too much. Okay. And then school would start at like eight o'clock. We would reach by seven forty-five, and then we the McDonald's is right next to school. Okay. So we go to McDonald's. We sit, have nice breakfast. Just a fifty-five-year-old and a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> Don't having call me by any <laughs> having a distinguished conversation <laughs> about and, football about football and like betting and what not and betting and, yeah but he's love betting and then and then he at 8 o'clock every every time we would do this at 8 o'clock he'd be like your school has started and i'd be like yeah i know <laughs> and then we'd eat for half an hour more <laughs> <laughs> so he's the reason why you're late every time <laughs> i'd be half an hour late every day <laughs> didn't they teach you the number plate thing No, no, he didn't teach you. Know. Fuck, this guy's a legend, bro. Guys, guys We need to find it. Yeah, yeah. And he used to be super into betting for football matches, so we'd just talk about football all the time. With him. I didn't know shit about football because I was too young. But but you know about betting. <laughs> yeah, you know about betting. And you and you about coefficient, which is coefficient. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Did you fucking yawn on the fucking podcast, bro? You just yawned. If you want to end the podcast, oh, just say it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm boring I, I slept, you. I slept really late yesterday. What are you doing? Studying. Studying what? I need to write for six twenty-five. Auto predicts. We are posting a starting right, so what I'm are you posting? Postings. I have one more days right now. No, but what are you going to post and do? I have dermatology for two weeks, and then after that, I have labor room postings. So 
So I'll have night shift and day shift, two weeks each, no Sundays off. Night shift is 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. Day shift is 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. So how, you guys won't see me for a month. How does Fahim do this podcast also while becoming a doctor? Yeah. Here's the comment. So you guys won't <laughs> see me for a month. Try not to miss me. That's a fucking lie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he, Don't replace he, me with him, bro. Fahim, <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is like cooking. I'm sure he's... Land up here at three in the morning. After the <laughs> That's a huge talk. That's a I just took three babies. <laughs> Let's fucking talk. <laughs> I just instead of I delivered three babies, and I took three babies out of a woman. <laughs> you can see me with the kids. <laughs> I took three babies out of a woman. He was so he was so excited to come to the podcast. One baby is in his hand. <laughs> Um, okay, guys, that's that's the end of this podcast. Uh, we had a lot of fun shooting this. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Nisu is soon going to replace Fahim slowly but steadily. Shamli, please come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, please like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. You have commented so many questions and we have not addressed even one. So, keep trying. Maybe, <laughs> maybe one day you guys will get lucky. Also, shout out to that one person from Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah shout out. the Ethiopian guy. Bastard guy. No. What? No, no, no. He's a nice guy. <laughs> no, the guy who said the one time. <laughs> so me, Fahim, Aryan, and Nisu out of pocket all the time. The guy who keeps quiet. What one time, left out? Fahim, me, Aryan, Nisu, completely nice and normal. <laughs> guy, <you> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, guys. So uh, please keep watching. Uh, yeah, and if there are any sponsors out there, sponsors. Uh, Mike Tyson and the weed football. Yeah. Weed box. football. Okay, box. yeah, that's it. That's it. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Love you. Yeah, feed pics. Oh. oh. <laughs>